every individual feels and experiences the power that comes from our Heavenly Father and our Savior Jesus Christ as we relive pioneer accounts that are a part of our heritage. We learn that our pioneers had power given to them because of their faith, because of the things they did that showed they believed. They sacrificed, they were dedicated, they lived, and they died. We all have that heritage, and all are capable of doing great things like our hand card pioneers. For you, this is a few days, and it will at times be difficult, and it will be dusty, and you'll be tired. Please drink plenty of water. That is very important. But consider the sacrifice that they made. For them, it was months that they endured these conditions. And again, they gave to us a legacy because they knew and believed. And a fifty tears fall down Drip, drip, goodbye sweet Nabu at the break of dawn And the crack of a whip Sound off, Captain of fifty Hold tight, wagon Don't tip, river Cross on over at the break of dawn And the crack of a whip Cross that wide Mississippi Sugar Creek, Farmington, Bonaparte Cross the Des Moines, how the rain fell hard Bloomfield, Sheridan, Locust Creek Come, come, you saints, brother Clayton did sing Dishnapotna, Garden Grove Mount Pisgah, how the prairie winds blow Never did stop raining From Canesville to Council Bluffs Across that cold Missouri Looked out off the end of the earth when the quarters was some long, hard months As we buried so many of the ones we loved Jordan! Jordan! <laughs> Heavenly Father's gonna help us. We've gotta pray for him. We suffered beyond anything you can imagine, and many died of exposure and starvation. But did you ever hear a survivor of that company utter a word of criticism? Not one of that company ever apostatized or left the church, because every one of us came through with the absolute knowledge that God lives, for we became acquainted with Him in our extremities. I have pulled my handcart when I was so weak and weary from illness and lack of food that I could hardly put one foot in front of the other. I have looked ahead and seen a patch of sand or a hill slope and I have said, I can only go that far and there I must give up, for I cannot pull the load through it. 
I have gone on to that sand, and when I reached it, the cart began pushing me. I have looked back many times to see who was there pushing my cart, but I saw no one. I knew then that the angels of God were there. Was I sorry that I chose to come by hand cart? No. Neither then, nor any minute of my life since, the price we paid to become acquainted with God was a privilege to pay, and I am thankful that I was privileged to come in the Martin Handcart Company. When we arrived at this campsite at Rock Creek, my strength was spent. 
My body was laid away in the clothes that I wore with 12 others in a circle with our feet to the center and our heads out. Our bodies were covered with willows and then earth. Then our dear rescuers and friends slid rocks down the hill to keep the wolves from disturbing our bodies. My heartbroken wife and daughter survived and continued on to the valley of our hopes, the Zion of our dreams. of all who saw. They carried nearly every member of the ill-fated handcart company across the snowbound stream. The strain was so terrible and the exposure so great that in later years all the boys died from the effects of it. today as the rescuers brought you across the sweet water that your belief in Christ changed to knowing Christ. You departed for trek believing in Christ. You returned knowing Christ. You are the rising generation of the El Dorado Stake. Take your place. 